Mozambicans head to the polls in their presidential elections today to elect a successor to President Felipe Nyusi, who is, whose two-term tenure has come to an end. The ruling for Lima Party candidate is Daniel Chapo, and Osufo Momade is the presidential candidate for the opposition party, Renamo. Mozambicans living in South Africa will also be voting today with over a hundred voting stations in Limpopo and Mpumalanga at Miro Malulek, a Mozambican leader of nationals at Homo village in Guiana in Limpopo, says one of their aims following the Mozambican elections is that undocumented nationals should get proper documentation to stay in South Africa. We have our reporters out um, in different parts of the country covering the Mozambican elections. Here in Johannesburg, I know that we have Kaili Kumalo, who is monitoring um, the elections in, uh, in Johannesburg. As also in Bombela, we have Ntlantla Jele. Uh, but for more now, let's first speak to Kaili Kumalo uh, and, and find out how's it been going, Kaya? Uh, what do these elections represent, particularly for the Mozambican economic future to those that you've spoken to so far? That's around uh, economic issue. That's a very main one. In fact, uh, that has been a priority for most voters. Uh, that's an issue that they've just been making reference to in terms of their expectations. But uh, where we're positioned, I mean, it's one of the very important polling stations here in Johannesburg. As you know, that uh, Joburg really remains a very influential city in Southern Africa. So quite a, a massive number of migrant communities do come here. But let's hear from Mr. Mundlano. In fact, he's one of the candidates here for Frelimo, of course, for the National Assembly. So once again, Mr. Mundlana, maybe just your impression so far about how everything is panning out. Thank you so much. Uh, today, indeed, it's a very historic day. As you know, that every moment that we're getting a chance to go to the, to the polls and then to choose uh, our own representative, the new government, and then that is a very historic moment. So uh, since you can look at things are going very well, as we're having a little bit slow at the moment, but we believe that from four to three, four, we're going to have a massive tenor. Mm. Uh, let's look at the issues that have really dominated uh, the elections, Mr. Mundlani. I would imagine the issue of the economy, uh, it's a top issue because, I mean, in light of COVID-19 and many other factors, a number of countries really took uh, a bit of, uh, you know, suffering uh, to that effect. In Mozambique, uh, what are the issues? If, if you can look at the slogan of our, new, our candidate, Daniel Francisco Chapo, he say in Portuguese, uh, vamos trabalhar. When you say vamos trabalhar in Portuguese, you say let's all work. And indeed, Mozambique, his policies and his focus is to make Mozambique one of the biggest in terms of economy. As you know, that Mozambique has got a lot of resources in terms of mineral, gas, agriculture, blue economy, you can name it. So that is the focus of the new coming government to make sure that. Uh, we do create a strong economy in Mozambique, which will make sure that the people have jobs in Mozambique and then people do exactly exercise their own freedom. As you know, without economic growth, you can't create jobs. So that is the focus of the new coming government, special president Daniel Sharp. And for us, it's already a president. To some, they are calling him a candidate, but for us, we're calling him President Daniel Sharp. His focus is to make sure that Mozambique becomes a strong country in Economical. Mm. Before I let you go, sir, we we're just speaking off air about Cabo Delgado, the issues around peace and security, how SADC really rallied behind Mozambique to stabilize uh, that part. How are things uh, panning out there? Uh, in Cabo Delgado, things, uh, and then we, we're controlling it. Uh, I want, want to miss the opportunity to thank the SADC region 
by the help that indeed they are offering to our own government in Mozambique, but also to thank our South African, def our Mozambican Defence Force yeah. by the great jobs that they are doing there. Young men, women, they are doing a very, very, very wonderful job yeah. because uh, people manage to go back to their homes. People now, as we speak, they are on their farming, they are doing their things in Cap Delgado. So things are under control. We should not worry about Cap Delgado. Things are, are under control. Mm. Coming back here in South Africa, uh, this polling station is one of the biggest here in Joburg. What would you say to those Mozambicans who are eligible to vote? Probably they're doubtful, you know, they, they don't want to come out. And maybe obviously they have other commitments. But I mean, here they will close around 7 p.m. What would be your message to them? My message to everyone as Mozambicans, I will say that please, all of us, we may not, we can't afford to lose this opportunity. Remember, Mozambique is one of the single countries in the SADC that offer this kind of opportunities. Most of the countries in SADC, they don't offer their own citizens this opportunity. But us, our government, give us this opportunity to be part and parcel of choosing the people that have that, those that have to represent us. In that. So please, Mozambique, we Wherever you are, wherever you are, please come and then exercise this your constitutional right. Remember, this is our constitutional right to choose the people that we want us. We want them to govern us on the next five years. All right. Muito obrigado. Obrigado. Eu é que agradeço. Fantastic. Obrigado. Thank you so much, dear. Well, of course, uh, that's uh, Mr. Montlani, one of the voters here. But, of course, the big issue is that he's one of the candidates for the, uh, the governing party. That's, of course, uh, Fred Lima. So a very interesting scenario where we are positioned. Obviously, a great deal of expectations uh, from Mozambique. And so we will remain here throughout the day. So with that, back to you in studio. Thanks, Kaya. Let's go to Ntlantlana, who's in Mbombela. Ntlantla, what are uh, Mozambicans who have come out there? Um, are they excited? Um, is it busy? Please paint a picture for us. Good afternoon to you, Diabo, and to the viewers at home. Indeed, we are at one of the voting stations here in Matafen. One could easily say this is a big voting station. If you can just see the size of the place where they are currently assisting people, we should also make it known that this voting station in particular opened quite a bit late because, of course, of logistical issues. We saw earlier on in the morning they were supposed to start at 9. However, they could not start at 9. I think they started around 10 o'clock this morning because there was so sorting out their logistical issues. However, the numbers are not looking that great yet. We spoke to the Consulate General for Mozambique um, in South Africa for Mpumalanga and Limpopo, who told us that unfortunately for uh, Mozambican nationals who are in South Africa today who are casting their votes, it's going to be quite difficult, especially for them, Adiabo, to come to the voting stations in the morning because in Mozambique it is a public holiday, meaning people are not going to work and they are allowed to go to their different voting stations to cast their votes. However, in South Africa, it's not a public holiday, so many of them, hence we're seeing the numbers are not increasing at this point. Many of them are still at work, so obviously we are expecting the numbers to start peaking later in the afternoon, around 5 o'clock when they knock off from work. We do know that this station in particular is expecting around 800 people, and so far, since this morning, they've seen around um, 40 people and counting. So this is what is currently happening here um, at Diabo in Matafin. We are, of course, visiting other voting stations in the area. We understand that there are more than 100 voting stations that have been um, placed between Pumalanga and Limpopo. Also, Diabo, what is important is that more than 46,000 uh, Mozambican nationals have registered to vote in both the provinces in Limpopo and in Mpumalanga. We also have another team in Nkomazu obviously told us that this morning they also saw a slow start in some of the voting stations. They also went to the Libombo border post where they were checking to speak to people who are maybe coming this side or who are going back home to try and cast their votes. Obviously, some people are not interested in speaking to us. Other people also, Diabo, were complaining that some of their political parties are not on the ballot papers for the local government that they were supposed to be voting for this morning. So those are some of the things that we are picking up on the ground. But of course, people are coming. Others are still going to home affairs to collect their papers. Others are still rushing back home and coming. Just now we saw a gentleman at this station at Diabo who said to us, unfortunately, he's not on this list. He's supposed to cast his vote in town. So he went to cast his vote in another voting station in town. So, so far, the numbers are still slow, especially in this voting station. Of course, 
Diabo will bring you more as we check the other voting stations. Diabo? Ntlantla, thank you so much for the update. Ntlantla Chele is in Matafin in Mbombela. And as you know, the SABC has various reporters who are out um, in their numbers to cover the Mozambican elections uh, for your benefit at home so that you know how everything is uh, progressing. And with that, let's take a quick break. When we come back, I'm going to have more news for you.